This year marked the 21st anniversary of the Team USA Scholarship, a scheme aimed at assisting young American drivers to progress up the racing ladder. People tend to give me the credit for it. I mean, really, the kids pick themselves. The difficult bit, I suppose, is finding the money and making it all happen. It's wonderful to be able to give them opportunity and come and race so out of their element uh, and give them an opportunity to race overseas where they don't know the people, they don't know the culture, they don't know anything about it, they don't even know how the racing series will work because it's quite different. You know, I think that the six weeks I spent in New Zealand were fantastic. It was the first time I lived, was out on my own racing, had to set my own schedule and you know, it taught me a lot, gave me the tools to, to be successful from Formula Ford to Indy cars. The scholarship has lived up to its aim, with graduates going on to compete and win in IndyCar, NASCAR and the American Le Mans series. All the guys we've picked over the years, they've had the right attitudes because it's how they perform out of the car as much as how they do in the car that's so important if you're going to work your way up the racing ladder. The first ever graduate of the scheme in 1990 was Jimmy Vassar, who went on to win the Champ Car World Series just six years later. Yeah, Jeremy Shaw uh, used me as the, uh, the guinea pig, I think, and. Uh, uh, it's good to see now that the boys have uh, have really strong opportunity with great cars and great team. I mean, what Jeremy's done with the Team USA scholarship has been uh, nothing short than uh, spectacular, really. The, the drivers that he's, he's recognized, supported, and brought up, kudos, hats off to Jeremy Shaw. In recent years, Cliff Dempsey Racing has entered drivers into the famous British Formula Ford Festival with some notable success. We're very, very lucky to have young Connor Daly and Joseph Newgarden come over. And we were probably even more fortunate that Joseph won the festival and then Connor went on to win the Walter Hayes. That was on the one state that we're here. You couldn't have planned it better. It's a fantastic program, both from their side and from my side, because I get to see the talented drivers come across, and Jeremy gets a chance to see how to compare with the drivers on this side. Newgarden and Daly have both won races in Indy Lights this season, with Newgarden leading the championship. And the scheme almost had its first Indy 500 winner this year, with 2005 graduate J.R. Hildebrand. It's cool to see the kids progress. You know, we've been doing it for 20 years now, so I'm hoping that some of the kids are going to progress. But you know, Indianapolis this year was fantastic too. Joseph Newgarden won the Indy Lights race, and then J.R. Hildebrand came within a couple of hundred yards of winning the 500. But the, the ironic thing is, it was another Team USA guy that was trying to pass Charlie Kimball. And OK, well, he lost the race, but Brian Herter, his team, won it. So I was sort of kind of smiling everywhere, everywhere you look at it. The programme can, however, lay claim to victory in this year's Daytona 24 hours and Sebring 12 hours, courtesy of another member of the alumni, Joey Hand. You never know what would have happened if Jeremy didn't give me that, that chance. And so I can tell you one thing, he's a great pick of talent. You know, I, and I'm not saying that because he picked me, but if you just look at the history of who he's picked between Brian Sellers, A.J. Allmendinger, all these guys he picked, just about every guy raced a car professionally. Like many of his fellow graduates, Hand has given back to the scholarship by helping other young drivers, such as fellow Californian Neil Alberico, who competes in the UK for Cliff Dempsey and is one of the nominees shortlisted for this year's award. Joey's been a uh, part of my racing career for my whole life. Actually, he was one of my first coaches when I started in karting when I was 10. So I've known him for a long time, and then obviously Jeremy came into the picture a few years ago, and building relationships with Jeremy and all the guys in America has been great for me, and uh, uh, coming over here is just one step further. I told Neil, you talk to Jeremy, and what Jeremy says, you listen very carefully, because that's what I did. Jeremy said, hey, you need to call people more, or you need to do this or that. I said, okay, Jeremy, I will do it. So I told Neil, listen to Jeremy, because he's, he's got a good eye for these things. Over the years, the former winners who have become professional drivers, each year they have contributed to the program to give the same opportunity that they had to the next generation of young drivers coming up. And that is probably one of the most gratifying things for the whole program.